I'm working on the next boss for my game. I've started with the graphics. I wanted to make this video one of these time lapses that you can see around YouTube, but this kind of content is good for someone who is a professional artist. This one, for example, is great to watch. Nobody wants to see time lapse of making a crap. I assume that you are watching this video for entertainment, so I'll try to make it entertaining. Hold your horses, don't close this tab, watch it all and let me know if you feel entertained. Is it the correct word? I will do my best. Let's start. The idea behind this one is to take the most common enemy and turn him into the boss fight. If I ask you what is the most common low level enemy in the fantasy style games, I will probably end up with the answers like rats, bats and slimes maybe? You know what? I will ask Reddit for the opinion. We will see the result later. I don't know which one to choose, so I will take it by random. The bat. Do you remember how it looks like? I don't. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Let's make some sketch. Now I can sit down and make the best art ever. Okay, I didn't focus enough. Next one. The rat. When I am thinking about the best rat design in the games, I always end up thinking about the Warhammer Skaven and Leech of Legends Twitch concepts. I like them. They will be the source of inspiration for now. Rats are often related to the plague. Plague. It will be our starting point. For many years I was using Inkscape for vector graphics, but some time ago I moved to the Adobe Illustrator, mainly for Adobe Premiere and Adobe Audition software. It was much cheaper to buy them all. If you see me randomly clicking around in this video, it is because I have no idea what I'm doing. You see, Inkscape and Illustrator differs a lot. Uh, it is hard to move from one to another. I feel like a newbie right now. Good thing is that I have this one hand keyboard, which lets me rebind anything that I want. I am editing the video right now and my son wants to be there too whatever makes him happy. When I'm making a new vector art, it looks bad at start. Just look at this one. It will be much better at the end, of course, but I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or it's just because simple geometric objects are not that appealing for the human eyes. Art is not my main skill, I'd say. The programming is. I have no idea how I should make a teeth for this one. I will make it later. Also, there is something wrong with the shape of the head, but I have to make other body parts to know what exactly it is. This. I want my rat to have some googles. Safety is important when you work with toxic fluids. At least it looks like a rat, I hope. At this point I was also thinking about his attacks. Maybe some kind of toxic beams would be great. He will need some kind of gun to shoot them. I would like it to look like a flame flower, but it will throw uh, toxic fluids instead of flames. It seems to be convenient enough. You may be not familiar with my game Tanima, so a short reminder. The, this greeny yellow color is the color of the psychopathic living crystal that is the main antagonist of the game. It took me a while to find this color. It's weird how important the color would be when developing a new brand. Did you think about this before? I live in the belief that if you don't know how to do something, you have to learn how to do it or not do it at all. As you can see here, I don't know how to make legs, so I will just cover them with some clothing. Some may say, you are so lazy bitch, Bjorn. But I think that it looks better this way. Easier at least. Less is more, you know. Now it's time to fix the geometry. Honestly, I don't like how it looks like and I have no idea how to fix it at this point. The tail is something that makes the rat in my opinion. I will also add some lantern to make it more realistic. How rats would see in the darkness without the light source. They can't of course. Trust me, I'm engineer. I know everything. Now it's time to add some more random details. Still don't know how to make the mouth. That's no problem. You can sweep it under the carpets as I've told you before. Is it correct to say mouth when talking about put rats, it looks a bit weird. The eyes are the mirror of the soul. So romantic in my opinion, but it's somehow true. Take some human face photo and try to cover bottom side of the face. Then do the same with the upper side. If you see two different emotions each time, it is probably not so honest photo. Works most of the time, just give it a try. We want our rat to be a little crazy. That should be crazy enough. How could he see with such goggles, you ask? Does it matter? It looks good. Is it crazy? I think so. Do we need logic here? At this point I realized that League of Legends Twitch champion was heavily inspired by the scale even from Warhammer. Maybe not, but just look at these two. You may agree with me or not, but now when I'm inspired by them both, I'm actually making the Skaven clone. And that's how to make the most boring boss ever. End of tutorial. Thank you for your likes, subs and wishlist. Each small gesture helps me leave the limbo. See you next time. This joke will hurt the average watch time for sure. Okay, let's go back. As I said, it looks too boring and generic for me. I know one important rat that could change the future of our game, which is this little one here. 
I like him. Let's make our rat the plague cook. I had to look how the professional cooks looks like. Something like this would be okay. I am an amateur cook, by the way. You would love my bigos. I don't have such fancy uniform, but I have a good knife at least. He should have one as well. You've probably seen that I'm using limited number of colors. I'm trying to keep it simple and reuse colors to make consistent palette. Yeah, I know it's bad right now. We will change it in a few minutes, you will see. What I wanted to say is that limitations can be helpful. Limited color palette is a good example of this idea. For some reason, agile based software development is based on the time limits. Restrictions are there to help us. Don't you feel better paying taxes? More details? Nah, we don't need them here. I've almost forget about the reddit how the answers looks like hello darkness my old friend as you may already seen in my previous videos, Intanima graphics composes into the game objects and they are animated in the game engine. All of the active objects has the outline to contrast with the static environment and at this point I am separating body parts into groups to add such outline to them. It starts to look better, just rewind this video to the beginning and you will see the difference. And now the colors. I like this coloring feature and I can take some professional palette or make my own and make sure that the graphic is consistent. It is not that easy for sure i am making many things wrong but just compare these two graphics it took me a few minutes and it starts to not look like a crap at all i see one problem here there are too many details and the graphics is not readable on the torso right now i'm asking my girlfriend what she thinks about it and she says that it's okay i don't believe her we will see later after adding animation as you can see it is a little too flat some simple shading will fix it i'm using transparent black and white shapes to make potential color changes easier. I like having all of my graphics in one place. It works great until it starts to overcook my CPU. That was the problem with the Inkscape. At some point I will check if Illustrator has the same problem. And that's how our decomposed rat looks like. After importing to the engine and adding some animation it looks like this. Not bad in my opinion. Animation would be tweaked a little. I'm not sure if he should have a plague flower. Maybe something more matching the cook. What do you think? And do you feel entertained.